Airship Ventures recently flew its Zeppelin NT from its home base near San Francisco to Long Beach Airport in Southern California. In September, the company offered a special Pilot for a Day program and invited anyone with a pilot certificate to spend a day learning about the ship and to take a turn flying it. The NT stands for New Technology, and the airship, which was built in Germany and arrived in the U.S. last year, combines new technology with old to create a unique aircraft that is maneuverable, safe, and lots of fun to fly. The day begins with a walk around of the ship as it prepares to launch on a sightseeing flight. The airship is almost 250 feet long and can carry up to 12 passengers. During ground school, Fritz Gunther, chief pilot for the Zeppelin company, explains in detail all the ship's systems. Besides the usual fuel and weight and weather considerations, airship pilots must also manage ballast and buoyancy. This airship is one of only four of its kind in the world. This one is used mainly for sightseeing, advertising, and some charter and photo flights. But the ships can also be used for scientific research missions, cargo, and exploration. Gunther operated a ship similar to this one in Africa to help a mining company scout new sites. The airship's three lie-combing engines, one on each side and another at the stern, provide thrust for propulsion and also can be tilted for directional control, providing amazing maneuverability. Takeoffs and landings are virtually vertical. The aft engine is the real secret to the ship's maneuverability. The two propellers are driven by a single motor. One prop is fixed and the other can rotate up to 120 degrees. We head offshore to the practice area over the Pacific. Each pilot will get a chance to try out a few maneuvers. The fly-by-wire side stick controls all three axes of flight. There are no rudder pedals. The computerized control panel provides detailed, real-time information about what's going on in every one of the airship's complex systems. Our patient and capable instructor, Kate Board, explains it all to the student pilots. Soon it's time to head back to the mooring site for touch and goes. The ground crew waits there with a windsock so we can maneuver the ship's nose into the wind for landing. In this phase of flight, the control requirements are complex. The small yellow levers control the swivelers. Thrust and props can be manipulated for each of the three engines to bring the ship in on a dime. This fine control enables the pilots to operate with a much smaller ground crew than other airships need. Each student gets to shoot two touch and goes. That's not enough to master the procedure, but with Fritz's help, we are able to do it safely without damaging the ship. The flight crew is in constant conversation with the crew on the ground to ensure that the tricky mooring procedure is safe and simple. Our pilot for a day experience was unique and memorable. You can find out more at airshipventures.com. This is Mary Grady reporting for AvWeb.